Yeah, welcome to yet another episode of Willis Garage. In the two previous episodes, you saw me unpack the Optlasers XT8 laser head. You also saw me modify and install it on this Otter Laser Master 2. So here it is in all its glory. I also mounted the magnetic quick mount. And when it's not in use, I can put the cover on and it's very clean. In this part of the build series, I'm going to test the machine for the first time, hopefully making a little project, so we will see how that ends up. Firstly, I have to go into the user manual for the laser head and check the distances I need from the output to the workpiece. I also want to check out these two power modes that is on this switch. Yeah, let's go. If you download the XT8 manual and open it, you can uh, go down to, uh, let's see, working distance, engraving, cutting, and two power modes, page 11 and 12. I think we will go to page 12 here first. If you see on top of the laser head, you have two modes, one and two, with a micro switch on top here. These are called two power modes, as you can read in the manual. Mode one is for 50% grayscale engraving, mode two is for high speed black and white engraving and efficient cutting. So if you want to engrave something, you might want to use mode one. And if you want to cut something or engrave something thick or metal or something like that, you want to use mode two. I'm going to put it on mode one now for first. Okay, inside the kit, we also got this uh, height reference uh, gauge and we see working distance. It says that the XT8 laser head should be set to its nominal 21 millimeters of height between the bottom face of the laser and the material. This means that you want 21 millimeters from the edge of the square here. But if you want to cut some material, they want the laser to be set in the middle of the material you want to cut. That means you first have to set it at a height of 21 millimeters, like so. And then you have to lower it half the thickness of the material you want to cut. Okay, so the time has come that I want to test the machine. First I plug the USB from the computer. Then I have the power supply. Then I have the power supply for the Otter laser. When I press power now on the Otter, it's going to home the machine. That way I will see that the end stops works like they should. Press and hold power. Yeah, I think that works very good. Let's try again. I have connected it to the computer. I checked the connection and everything like that. I can turn on the Optlasers adapter with the keys. It says it's disarmed now and press button to arm. But always before you arm things like this and stuff like that, <laughs> be sure to use safety goggles like I do now. Let's press arm. You can see the armed LED on the laser itself and it says that it's armed here. Please press the button to disarm. Now it's disarmed. The air assist is only hooked up to the quick mount plate, but I have no compressed air inside this enclosure yet. And connect to this little connector here. Ah, perfect. The one thing is in the hole in the back here. I'm arming the laser. Yeah, and I'm starting the G code. Okay, now it's finished. Let me disarm the laser first. Yeah, it's a bit noisy, but I don't care. Let's see what it did. Wow. And it did this on mode one, as you can see. And this is some kind of softwood. I think you call it pine. 
But the Oct Lasers logo here is just uh, beautiful and it's a very powerful laser. I like it a lot. There are things I want to do with the machine in the future. One of them is the gantry that goes back here. It's only a uh, 2 times 2 centimeter aluminum extrusion. This makes the laser head a bit wobbly when the machine moves in uh, fast feed rate. But as you can see, this was done in quite high feed rate uh, and it turned out very well. Also remember I don't have the air assist hooked up and you can see the burn marks around the letters. Those burn marks should disappear when I hook up the air assist. Also one other thing that I want to do with the machine is to have an adjustable set height. Because now I have to shim up the material so I get the right height from the laser head. But I really want to have the option to have an adjustable set height just so I can set the height of the laser head. Yeah, well, it wasn't the best end uh, product I have ever made, but just a test of sorts. It was the first project I did with this laser. The wood was some sort of scrap wood that I used. So with that, I end this part of this series. I must say, I look forward to try out this laser more, do some more projects, try to cut and engrave different kind of materials, and also modify the machine itself, so it will be better to use. All in all, so far, very happy with the opt lasers XT8 Laserhead. If you want to continue following me on this journey, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want some notifications when I publish new videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.